Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. In this video, we will be doing the performance testing of the new IQ Z10. Now, IQ Z10 comes with uh, the Snapdragon uh, 7S Gen 3. That's the chip uh, which is powering this and you get uh, 8GB RAM as the base variant. And there is also 12GB RAM. You get 256GB storage and then also this has LPDDR4 x RAM and UFS 2.2. That's definitely not the best experience uh, at the 20,000 price segment. It should have been 3.1 but nevertheless, uh, it does come with a 7300 massive capacity battery and a great display so let's uh, see how good the performance is we'll uh, be doing cpu throttling test then we'll go with the, the stress test and to benchmark the storage test and the geekbench test to see how the performance is also we'll see the battery drain and also the maximum temperature it reached during the testing so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so now let's uh, start the performance testing so let's first start with cpu throttling test so we have the cpu throttling app and uh, we have uh, chosen the number of threads as 20 and uh, 15 minute test uh, so let's start this so we'll also see that uh, how much of battery drain happens so you can see here 100 percentage battery right now so let's start the test it's a 15 minute test and let's come back after the test is completed So now we have completed the test, let's check the temperature. So it went up to 43 degrees, that's the maximum. That's quite obvious because it's a CPU throttling test. So 43 uh, degrees is the maximum. And battery it didn't drain out actually. 100% is still showing after like the 15 minute test because it's a massive 7300 milliampere battery. The battery drain is still 100% so that's quite surprising. Maybe some error here but even after 15 minutes of CPU throttling test it is still at 100%. So next uh, let's uh, do uh, the 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So this is a 20 loop test. So once again you can see here uh, we have 100 percentage battery right now. Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. Let's start the test. So now we have completed the wildlife extreme mass stress test and you can see here the best loop score and the lowest loop score 1064 and the lowest one is 10 uh, 1058 so stability is 99.4 percent so that's excellent stability again this is kind of a mid-range device so you won't see much of stability loss uh, in uh, the stress test and let's also see the battery uh, drop 100 percentage to 96 percentage so 4 percentage of 7300 lost in the stress test and the temperature went maximum to 30 from 32 to 40 degrees and you can see the fps 5 to 8 fps so that's the wildlife extreme stress test of this device and the stability is 99.4 percentage next let's go to the antidote benchmark uh, of this device so we have installed that into benchmark and you can see the score uh, for the Snapdragon uh, 7S Gen 3 7, 7,88,688 so we'll just uh, check the individual score so you can see the CPU score, GPU, memory and the UX score for this device. So that's the benchmark test. Next is storage test. This is UFS 2.2 ideally UFS 3.1 is needed for this price segment around the 20 to 25,000 rupees. You need a UFS 3.1 but you get only UFS 2.2 and LPDDR4 XRAM. So this is 63,000 which is kind of decent score I would say for this segment. And finally let's uh, see the Geekbench test. So we already performed the test here. So the Geekbench score is uh, 1163 for the single core score and multi core score is 3206. So that's the benchmark score for the uh, IQ Z10. So this was the performance testing. So overall I would say in terms of performance is quite a good uh, device. Uh, there is good stability, CPU throttling is not happening and uh, the antidote scores are also quite good but UFS 2.2 uh, is something which uh, the brand needs to check. Uh, it should have been ideally UFS 3.1. So that is the performances. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.